Hi, and welcome to Shelly's Everyday Adventures. Um, today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about when do you stop talking to friends and family about prepping? I, I mean, I, it's a fine line, I think, for everyone. Are we... Have we gotten to the point where we're really just pushing it down their throats? Do they care? Are they listening? And... I think at some point you talk to them so much that they just tune you out. They don't, they don't hear what you have to say anymore. They don't want to hear it. And that could be the case. So when do you stop? Well, in my case, I stop when I feel like I'm being tuned out. I don't, you know, they know that I prep if they decide they want help, they can come to me. They can talk to me about it. I can help them and lead them in the right direction. I have some friends that um, understand. The The wife understands the, um, the need for prepping. The husband doesn't. And that's okay because she can, he gives her free reign to, you know, buy what she needs he doesn't question it. He, you know, once in a while he'll say, why do we need all this stuff? But, <clears throat> excuse me, other than that, he doesn't give her a hard time. So that works out okay for them. But, you know, when, when do you stop? When, when, what's that fine line of when you become, when you go from being a friend and helping teach someone to where you become a prepping preacher, uh, so to speak, like you're preaching constantly. I, I find that people listen better if you tell them and back off and just leave it alone. Maybe every now and then plant a little seed, you know, they'll ask, why are you doing this? Or, you know, whatever. And um, eventually it comes back around. A lot of people don't do well with um, pushiness. And I'm not suggesting that anybody's pushy. I'm just saying, that was my dog. Um, I'm just saying that um, you got to be careful about how you do it. You got to be, um, you, you just got to understand how to approach it. Um, just plant little seeds here and there. Let them know that, you know, you're doing it and why you're doing it. Try to stay informed about what's going on so you can talk to them about what's going on. I know that as a, a farmer, I know that right now the food that we're buying at the store is last year's crop. And it's a little more expensive, but we still have some. I know that this year's crop hasn't done as well in many areas. So I understand that next year is going to be a little tougher. It's going to be more expensive. It's going to be a little harder to find stuff. And that's the way it's going to be until things get straightened out. When that's when that happens, I don't know when that'll happen. But it's best to be prepared. So I point these things out to them a little bit at a time and um, just kind of work my way I do it in a gentle way because a bowl in a china cabinet approach doesn't work for a lot of people. So the question today is, when do you quit talking about it? I think it depends on the person that you're talking to. I think it depends on you. Um, again, we're going to be getting to the point where we don't want everyone knowing what we're doing. And by everyone, I mean we don't want to talk to strangers in the store and, you know, tell them you need to be prepping, uh, this is what's going on. Somewhere there's going to be a line where you need to keep things to yourself. I'm not sure. I think we're getting close to that line. I don't know for sure. I mean, in some areas, we may have already crossed that line um, in different areas. I know in my area, we have not. Um, it's pretty good so far. Um, 
where I'm at. But I'm pretty sure in, in cities in different places, it's probably getting a lot tougher. I will say that in my area, we've had people going around um, at night and they've caught them on the ring cameras. They're going around at night and um, getting into cars and stealing change and whatever they can steal out of cars. So that's been happening. Um, and I, I hope it doesn't escalate, but the possibility is real that it, that it could, it could happen. They could start coming into your home. Uh, but mostly we've been seeing a lot of that around our area. You need to, you need to decide when is it time to not talk about it anymore. Um, your family and friends will know that you do it. And you just want to keep it at that. It's something to think about. It's something to think about. We don't know where we're going. Fall is coming. The elections are coming. Things are... This is not the America that I grew up in. And it makes me sad. I'll be honest. It makes me sad. It makes me sad for my grandchildren. Anyway, think about it. When when do we when do we stop? When do we stop talking about it? We never stop prepping, but when do we stop telling others that we're doing it and trying to get them to do it? Make a comment below and and let me know what your thoughts are on this. Um, I'd like to know. This is Shelley's Everyday Adventures. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.